Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about thinning direct sown seedlings. Now as you'll see here, this is a row of beetroot that I sowed about 10 days ago or so, just direct into a drill into the ground. And despite my best efforts to sow them quite thinly, they've come up in clumps. Now, you can leave them like that, but you'll end up with much smaller, rather weedy kind of beetroots. So it's a good idea to give them a little bit more space to grow. It also keeps the plants a bit more healthy because it allows for more air circulation. Now you can thin at any point in a plant's life, but actually the best, the most optimum time to thin is when they start producing their first pair of real leaves. By this I mean the leaves that look like an adult leaf, so here we've got like a beetroot leaf, rather than the seedling leaf, which is this very plain leaf that they produce right at the beginning. So at this stage, they're at the perfect point at which you can thin them. I'm looking to thin them to a spacing of about two inches, a couple of fingers widths. So you need to leave that amount of space between two plants and then just pull out the ones that you don't need, quite carefully like that. Now when you've got two plants like these two, which are growing out of very nearly the same place, if I pull this one, I'm quite likely to disturb the root of this one a bit too much. And bear in mind, these are root vegetables, so you want to keep root disturbance to a minimum. So in that case, I'll hold that in place gently with this finger and just pinch this one out right at ground level instead of just pulling it out. And that means that this one remains undisturbed. Oh, there's another one. So just carry on doing that. I'm taking out the smaller ones for preference. You want to leave the biggest, healthiest plants that you've got to grow on. And if you just keep going, it's quite a nice therapeutic little job, this. And just keep pinching or pulling them out as you go. Now this is not their final spacings, this is still a little bit close together, but what I'll be doing is I'll be coming back in a couple of weeks time when these have grown into little weeny baby beets like that, and I'll be taking out every other one, and that will leave them at their final spaces of about 10 centimetres. The reason for doing it in stages like this is that as they grow bigger, of course, they make little mini beetroots, and you can enjoy those as a secondary crop. Very sweet and delicious, but very tiny. There we are. Now, as you can see, I've now got a lovely little row of seedlings here, which are nicely spaced out, plenty of room to grow, and they'll be a lot happier as the time goes on.